the magic man, the tennis preacher, the tennis prophet, tennis psychic, the tennis pastor. Coming back at you once again with another video. Okay, people, I didn't think I was going to do another video on the... I mean, we're waiting for the match tomorrow between Ken Anderson and Nadal. But I didn't think I was going to do another video on it. But I, you know, I've been thinking about the match. So I said, how could Ken Anderson beat Nadal? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pretend that I'm Ken Anderson's coach. And I'm going to go through legit ways, realistic ways, how Ken Anderson could beat Nadal. Okay. It is, it's not easy. And, of course, it's easier said than done. Okay. Here's the number one thing. Ken Anderson, he got to protect his serve. He can't go in there losing serve like, like when it's two to one and all of a sudden he's serving and he lose serve. He got to protect his serve. Because if he if he start losing serve, then it's over. And not only that, let's say Ken Anderson wins the first set. He can't do like Dale Potro start off the first second set losing serve. So he still got to protect his serve. I mean, and he got to protect that serve every set. Every set is protected. The first set, the second set. The third set, and if it goes four and five, every set. Not protect the serve, the first set, and then don't protect it, the third set. You're not going to beat Nadal that way. Okay, the second way to beat Nadal, I, I actually should have mentioned this first. He needs to today. No, don't wait till tomorrow. Today is Saturday. You need to, he needs to free himself of the nerves now. Don't wait till tomorrow. Get free. So when you, cause you, you have never been in that moment. So you want to be able to get a head start on Nadal. Nadal has already been there 15 times or more. Actually, he's been there more because he's lost in the finals. So he's probably been there over 20 times. So Ken Anderson, he needs to go ahead and free himself of the nerves the day before. So when he walk in there tomorrow, he's ready to go to first set. Okay, the next thing is, I know this sounds really simple. Ken Anderson, don't make unforced errors. Seriously, don't make a bunch of silly unforced errors and make the easy shots. Like if you get to the net, don't miss no easy shots and stuff. But don't make unforced errors. Okay, very important. Okay, I don't know if this is the four, but let's say this is number four. Win the break points. Listen, if you up two to one and Nadal serving and you have a chance to go at three to one and it's Nadal five and Ken Anderson, you got 40. Hey, man, win that game. Win the break points. And win the break points through, er, throughout the match. Not sometime, win all those break points. You're going to have to do that. Okay, number five. I was, um, the people that upset Nadal, like that Rosol, the guy that upset Nadal back in the Wimbledon about six years ago, Kyrgios that beat Nadal three or four years ago. What One thing, one characteristic, characteristic that all those guys had as for a skill towards Nadal is that they dictated play off the ground. I'm going to really be looking for that tomorrow. Can Ken Anderson dictate play off the ground strokes? Now, I'm not talking about running Nadal this way and running him that way and then run to the net like a fool because Nadal will blast your ass. Believe me, he will blast your behind. But what I am saying is this here. I'm talking about putting Nadal on the defense where he's off balance constantly throughout every set throughout the whole match. If Ken Anderson can throw Nadal, Dow off balance from his ground strokes and that's gonna be hard if he can do that he can win this match with protecting his serve so you know what and that's pretty well but let me add this here remember I, I told y'all in the other video where I predicted not predicted that uh, in the other video that I made about uh, Nadal versus Ken Anderson. I, I did choose Nadal to win. I do think Nadal can win, but I did leave room that Ken Anderson could win this match. But 
the last thing I want to say, and Ken Anderson showed this yesterday. He played tough. He got to play tough. He got to play like he wanted. Not like he's happy to be in the finals or I'm just happy to be here. He got to play like he got to believe in himself. I think that's what I'm saying. He got to really play that and believe in himself that he can beat Nadal and play like it. And if he do all those things, hey man, we got a match and he could beat Nadal. So I would, if he beat Nadal, I would be a little surprised, but not totally though. Okay, people, that is it for the Magic Man. Enjoy the match tomorrow, and I, whoever the winner is, I would definitely do a video on it. Okay, people.